Coming up in sport, we're in Dunedin profiling steel defender Storm Purvis. All right, Storm, uh, we want to know all about your background. Let's start uh, place of birth. Uh, Canterbury. I was born in Christchurch and grew up out in Prebleton mm-hmm. on a small sort of lifestyle block out there. Right, school? Um, started at Ladbrokes Primary, then went to Fendleton Primary once we moved into the city. Then went to Clevedon Primary up in Auckland and finished at Diocesan School for Girls in Auckland. So mum and dad moved around a bit for Yeah, work. I mean, I lived in about 11 different houses growing up, so we, we moved a lot. But yeah, we're following dad for his work. And Which is yeah. what? Um, he is a bank executive, so he works with Heartland Bank at the moment, um, starting a new project, trying to get a bank up and running. It's a bit crazy in these times, you'd think, but yeah, no, he loves it. So. He works with the bank and mum works with horses. Yeah, yeah. Um, my sister's a yeah. rider, so she's been doing dressage all her life and mum's passion as well, so mum's sort of an unofficial groom yeah. <laughs> pulling her around. So. And she's yeah. an older sister? No, younger. Yeah, she's yeah. just right. turned 17. Right. Yeah, so she um, finished school at the end of last year. And yeah, just riding this year. Not sure what she's planning on doing in the future, but taking it as it comes. And a brother. And an older brother, yeah, who's down here with me, which is great. Love having him here, sort of older brother to watch me over. But he is 21 now and studying politics. So. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so was it like being a middle child? Yeah, not as bad as they say. Um, I sort of, dad is a real netball dad, so I got, you know, a lot of um, support from him, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, haven't really noticed any different, to be honest. What about mum? Is she a player, a netball? Um, she played a bit at school, yeah. She dabbled in a bit of javelin, I think, growing up. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, no, she loves her horses, really passionate about that. So mm-hmm. she's, you know, always there with Claude, but she's there to support me all the time as well. Mm-hmm. They're actually heading down next weekend to come watch our games. Oh, excellent. Look That's forward to seeing to see. them then, yeah. And uh, when did you start playing? Um, oh, I've been playing sort of since I was about 10, I think, but really only competitively um, in about fourth form at school when right. I got sort of shoved into the prem team at Dio, just because of my height, I think. They right. chucked me in there and loved it ever since. Yeah. Yeah. We should just go back a little bit. You've yeah. got a very exotic name, Storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the heritage of that? Um, really not as exciting as people think, so I always let them down with a story, but my parents knew someone in Zimbabwe called Storm, so they just liked the name and... Yeah, I thought they'd give it a go. Don't know how I got it and not Claudia, but that's okay. <laughs> Are you happy with Storm? Yeah, no. I mean, growing up, people always said, you know, oh, she's not going to like that when she's older, or, you know, things people might not, might not take her seriously, but I've loved it. Yeah, I can't imagine being called anything else, to be honest. Yeah, it stands yeah. out. It's catchy yeah. for selectors. Yeah, <laughs> you can name, say that. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that down to my selection, maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Cool. All right, um, you had success at school though, at Netball, didn't you? Yeah. At, um, um, secondary level. Yeah, our school team, we weren't traditionally a great school for netball because, um, you know, we had sort of mags and eggs and eggs who were all really netball driven schools. So we, we tried, but we, um, I had a great coach, Marcy Hardcastle, who taught me really so much that I've learned um, as a defender. And um, in my last year at school, made New Zealand secondary schools and really, really focused on netball that year. And, Things have sort of went up from there. That's what, well, way back a year ago? <laughs> two years ago, yeah, my second year uni now. It feels like years ago, I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, it's two years ago now, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Do we, were you always um, in the defensive circle? Yeah, always. You were intended to shoot at your height? No, no, my aim is useless. You don't want to see me back there. <laughs> yeah, no, I really respect those shooters because, gosh, I can't do it. <laughs> we, did you always have height at school? Did you, yeah, I'm yeah. sort of up and down. I started off really tall and then everyone grew. And then it wasn't until about seventh form that I shot up again a lot, like a head in a year maybe. So, mm. yeah, yeah, always the, the tall one. If you're looking back at your family, did, mm. should we expect a few more inches or do you think this um, is it? <laughs> I, I'm hoping this is it, to be honest, because I am the tallest in my family at the moment, even sort of my dad and my older brother. But um, I bet they don't like that. No, well, Henry's not a fan. <laughs> yeah, no, I always... Um, two, two tall grandfathers, so they're oh. both taller than me, so I'm guessing that's where it comes from. Mm. Mm. Other than that, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, a success at secondary school opened up some other doors mm-hmm. for you, mm-hmm. age group. Yeah, um, I played sort of Auckland age group reps from about under 15 and that was all recognised through school. And um, I played club under Te Araha Keenan, who used mm. to coach the Mystics and has done a bit with New Zealand in 21. And um, she sort of got me out there at, at um, national selections and made New Zealand 21s um, for the first time last year, but have been a squad member for a few years now. And um, Janine Southby is the coach of 21s. That's and quite she, handy. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been really great. So she's sort of been a huge support person for me over the past couple of years. So yeah. if you continue with that side, you've got a world tournament? Yeah, we've got World Cup next year mm. in Scotland, so fingers crossed for that. We've been um, on sort of a three to four year program 
trying to get girls ready for that um, next year and really hoping to take that out. So. And you could play for that team for another two or three yeah, years, Yeah, <laughs> this year, next year and the year after. But um, yeah, it feels like I've been you know, <laughs> under 21 for so long now, but yeah, yeah no, it should be good. All right, um, I think we've touched on this steel connection, haven't we, <laughs> with, uh, yeah, Janine? With that, Janine, yeah. Tell us about that conversation, how it came about. It was such a surprise, really, because I was not expecting this for another couple of years was when I was really aiming for it. But towards the end of last year, I got a phone call from Janine, and I was thinking, oh, you know, we've just got off the phone about 21s, what does she want now? <laughs> and I had some sort of like putting my other hat on. Um, as you know, I'm the steel coach, and, yeah, we're looking at signing you. And I think I screamed on the phone. I just was not expecting it at all and really stoked. Have you played much NPC level? Um, I have never played for an NPC top grade team before because I wanted to play for Otago last year, but um, just with uni and so much netball and I got a little bit injured towards the beginning of the year, they decided to um, make me unavailable just to you know, have that time to catch up on uni and get my body back into, um, you know, into 100%. So, and before that I played for Auckland NPC second grade, right. and, or years before that. And so yeah, never played so that's top grade NPC, so eight. it's a bit of a jump. <laughs> yeah, but 21s last year for the National League. Um, we had a great team, so we had Tapaya in there and Shannon Francois, so I played alongside them all year last year, so that helped yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely yeah. And what were first impressions, say, pre-season of this level of NPC? Yeah, a bit of a shock. <laughs> um, the conditioning alone, I mean, training twice or three times a day, you know, such a shock to the system. But um, the girls are all really supportive and they knew a couple of young ones in there that they needed to you know, welcome to the level, so yes. just ease into it and yeah, loving it. What about the speed? The Is speed. It quicker than used yeah, to? but once you're actually out there, you just don't notice it because everything just happens so quickly. You just you know do what you can. But um, at first, just watching from the sideline, I was thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to get out there and <laughs> control this? But once you're out there, I mean, you just don't think of anything other than that ball, and yeah, it just comes at you. Well, you caught everyone's attention, obviously, with that outstanding win against the yes. Magic coming on and playing so yeah. well. Um, before the game started, mm. did you think you were going to get caught on? They had mentioned, you know, just to be constantly ready because you never know. Um, Cheryl coming out of injury as well, just how she would um, respond to that. And just, you know, I had been training with Demelza a lot, so they said, you know, we are looking at you for that option. So I was a little bit nervous, didn't actually think I would get on, but um, when they made the call, I was just firing. I was so ready to get out there. So. Yeah, really excited. Not intimidated by who was in the circle that I, you were marking? <laughs> I played Irene at Tauranga um, at the pre-season tournament and that was when I really was intimidated but I thought like I can't I can't you know treat her any differently to another shit out there. Mm. I mean I train against Donna Wilkins and Jody Brown so mm. they're no different. That's right. yeah. So you, yeah the, in this competition you're coming against exactly. that every weekend. Exactly yeah. yeah you can't really treat them any differently so at the That's moment, they're using you as the impact player, as a yeah. player to come and make a difference. Um, you'd like to force your way to, to a start? Definitely. I mean, it would be awesome to, in my first year, to get a starting spot. But I'm um, loving coming off the bench, really, at the moment, and just being able to work in there with Demelza and try and make that impact. So that's that's working well at the moment, but who knows. And she's played a lot of netball, too, so yeah. that would be huge. Yeah, she is amazing. I mean, she's such an inspiration to me at the moment. Um, as you probably notice, her talk on court is incredible, and she's so knowledgeable. And off. And off, <laughs> and off yeah. So, yeah, she's been great, and um, really great just to chat to about anything, and I've learned so much off her already. So. And what sort of aspects of the game do you think you need to improve to be consistent at this level? Um, something I keep looking at is my rebound ability. Um, and then also, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm getting called a lot. The umpires aren't a big fan of me, so I'm trying to clean up my game a little bit because I'm a little bit scrappy. Um, You're not on your own there, though. Yeah, no, I know, it is crazy. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that's definitely something I want to improve on. And um, we've talked about my attacking play because being a defender in my life, you know, mm. trying to get that ball when we get a turnover out of that area of court has been a bit difficult for me, so I'm trying to work on that. With that uh, constant stream of penalties, like against the, the tactics, tactics, for instance, yeah. do you get a chance to absorb what you've done wrong no. on court? I mean, you try to, but at the same time, you can't dwell on it because this, you can't change it. You can't make the umpire calls, um, can't argue with them. So you just have to, mm. you know, to see if you can come off the player and try you next time. But yeah, it does get a bit frustrating. <laughs> And uh, spirit in the team must be good, two wins out mm. of three when mm. we speak to you here. I don't know what the record is by the time we play it out, but I'm sure it keeps yeah. getting better. Yeah. So yeah. confidence high. Yeah, loving it. Um, the girls are just always buzzing off a win. I mean, we were hurting after our loss against the Pulse last week, so we knew to come out firing and the vibe in the camp is awesome. I mean, Demelza and Donna and Jodie's such a great captain and they're always, you know, lifting that spirit and yeah. I'm talking to Nat last week and she mm -hmm. was saying that just uh, Picking yourself up after that magic yeah. game and the need to do that regularly is one of the big challenges of yeah, this competition. Definitely, definitely. And um, 
coming from teams like last year where we sort of won consistently, coming to a team that is may lose some games and being able to lift yourself out of that's been something new for some of us. But um, yeah, no, we just knew that we had to come up firing, and I think we did that last night. So. And it's a fact of life, and ANC. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Through unbeaten, and it's so um, straight, like so many upsets so far. I mean, only round three, and you know the table is how no one would have picked it. I think so. It's going to be a good competition. With a long way. <laughs> a long way to go. Three down, <laughs> ten to go at least. So <laughs> yeah, it's been good. All right, life outside netball very important, mm-hmm. of course. You mm-hmm. um, what studies and uh, how far through? I am currently my second year of a bachelor of PE. And um, I started doing a Bachelor of Arts majoring in English last year alongside it, but I've put that aside for now just so I can study on one thing, focus mm. on one thing. And um, yeah, no, one other that. thing other than netball. One <laughs> other thing, yeah, yeah, but only part time this year. Struggled a bit last year with balancing netball and um, uni, so looked at just doing two papers this semester and it's worked out. With Great. a view to doing what with that degree, do you think? Um, I would love to do something along the lines of sports journalism or broadcasting. Um, yeah, media has always been a real passion of mine. Mm. So something along those lines. At the moment, I'm not too sure, but got a bit of time, I hope. <laughs> I think you've got a lot of time. <laughs> uh, okay, um, are you living with netball people? or No, I'm actually living with um, five other girls who I all met at Unicol last year. And um, actually one of them I went to school with since I was about 10. So it's great having her down here with me as well. But um, I think it's good for us to have you know, it's a life mm. outside of netball as well and to have that balance and, and they're all really great supportive girls. And did you go to the street party? I didn't. No, no I didn't. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had training at 12.30 in the middle of the day conveniently. <laughs> I think Janine <laughs> put that in there. Um, yeah, so not really um, my kind of thing. It looked a bit crazy to be honest, mm. but you know, my flatmates went and said it was a great time. But I think Demel's actually went down to have a look <laughs> and said it was a laugh, but yeah. <laughs> But life, student life here, uh, you yeah, it, it's a long way from def- home. Yeah, it's a long way from home, but um, Dad is working all over the show as it is, so I see him almost every week as it is at the moment. And of course having my brother here and a whole lot of school friends, it doesn't really feel too different to be honest. And mm. um, student life's been awesome, and I've been able to find that balance between, you know, having a bit of fun and then having that focus. And you're absolutely soaking well. up this weather. Yeah, loving <laughs> this <laughs> weather. God, it's amazing. I mean, it's been raining all week in Auckland, so yeah, no, we've been very lucky, loving it. So, um, do you think netball full time will, will sort of take over for the next few years, given your age? You yeah, know? I mean, I would still like to study part time as it is. Um, next year, I mean, next semester, I'm actually looking at going back to full time. So, I mean, the season is really just that whole first semester. So, I mean, we'll still keep the study going and see what happens from there. See how I handle it. Got exams coming up soon, so fingers crossed for those. And you never know how your body's going to react to the work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. nothing. Like last year, it was a bit of a shock to our system trying to do eight papers and still playing for three three or four teams mm. so we're trying to monitor that this year so far so good and when you want to get completely away from netball and do something uh, for yourself yeah what would that be um i'm really into my music so i mean you playing chuck, singing no playing? Lis- listening <laughs> <laughs> i wish i could play but no i'm a listener um i've got a record record player for my birthday last year so really into a record player yeah record, a, record. a record player at your age yeah no a record player <laughs> um love going out to sort of some of the old um Secondhand stores out in South Dunedin, finding old mm, records and things. And what sort of music to join? Um, anything really. I really like sort of my alternative rock at the moment, and even some sort of 80s, 90s punk rock, do I say it? Um, but yeah, no, I'm open to anything. No, yeah. <laughs> All right, you've got to tell me now something about yourself that the rest of the team don't know. Something quirky, something um, a skeleton in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, I was only 16 when I got my first tattoo. And um, I don't think they know this because I don't even think half of my friends knew this because my parents finally let me do it as long as they made sure I hit it very well. And um, it says survive and it's on the back of my neck. Um, yeah, so I was a little bit naughty doing that at only 16, but haven't looked back yet.